So while this message is intended to be for the benefit of all of us, when it comes to race, the locus of change really rests with those of us who are white. There, I said it. So let's take a wider view of what society looks like. Marilyn Fry, the scholar, gives us this metaphor of the birdcage. She says, imagine that you're up against a birdcage and you're able to just press your face in such a way that you can see the bird almost unobstructed. And from this view, you would wonder why the bird doesn't just fly away. In fact, even if you turn your head a little bit and you could just examine one of those bars, you would see that there's only one thing that stands in the bird's way and it would be easy for it to fly around. It's not until that we step all the way back and look, we see all the crisscrossed bars all the way around the cage that encloses the bird, that keeps it from being able to fly. And see, that is very much that pattern, that interlocking pattern taken as a whole is very much what the society has created, a kind of barrier that doesn't, and so many interlocking barriers, institutional barriers, that they all work together to create the one cage, to hold that cage in place. And so one of the ways that, that we hold the cage in place, that we all are complicit in, in helping to hold this cage in place, is, is through our silence. Robin D'Angelo, who is the author of White Fragility, Why It's So Hard for White People to Talk About Race, shares examples like these. Uncle Joe tells a racially biased story, and nobody wants to say anything. And so we don't say anything because nobody ever interrupts Uncle Joe from telling his big, boisterous stories. And besides, we don't want to ruin the family dinner. Or we go to a neighborhood barbecue and one of our neighbors tells a racial joke. And we don't say anything. In fact, maybe even we nervously laugh. But we don't say anything or we nervously laugh because, well, we don't want to upset the apple cart, right? And we don't want to be told to lighten up or that we're too politically correct. Something's going on in our work that looks like racial bias to us, but we don't want to say anything because well, we don't want to be seen as not being a team player or we don't want anything to get in the way of our career advancement. You see how it goes, how we all participate in holding the birdcage together. 